One of the most common questions we get is, what's the best way to test your omega-3 level in your body? Uh, it's one thing to take omega-3 supplements or eat a lot of omega-3 rich fish, and that's a good thing to do. Uh, but you really don't know if you're getting the right or the optimal amount unless you test it some way. Uh, 20 years ago, we developed a blood test that we call the Omega-3 Index. And that is a measure of the amount of EPA and DHA, the two long-chain marine omega-3s, the ones we primarily focus on. It's the level of those two fatty acids in red blood cell membranes. And so, of course, when you take a blood sample, uh, your blood is simply a mixture, roughly a 50-50 of, of red blood cells and plasma or almost water. And we analyze the red blood cells because they reflect the composition of other cells in the body. And the level of omega-3 in those cells tells us a lot about the, the overall systemic omega-3 level. Uh, so we would like to use the omega-3 index, the red blood cell, EPA and DHA level, as the marker of your the level of omega-3 in your body. We've, we've set some targets based on our research. Uh, the an optimal level of omega-3 in the red cell, an omega-3 index of 8% or higher is a great place to hit. It's uh, uncommon, maybe only 3 to 5% of Americans at this point have an omega-3 index at 8% or higher, uh, which is a shame. There's a lot of room for improvement. On the other end, what's a really bad omega-3 index would be like under 4%, uh, and then somewhere in the middle, 5 to 6%, which is where the average American is, somewhere in the 5% level, uh, <clears throat> is pretty common. It's pretty easy to fix a low omega-3 index to, simply by eating more EPA and DHA, uh, whether it's from fish or from uh, supplements, something in the neighborhood of 1,500 milligrams or 1,000 to 1,500 milligrams of EPA and DHA per day will uh, take most people from a 5% up to about an 8%. So that's the best target to aim for.